Welcome to yourfaculty.com, a premier test preparation portal for GRE, CAD, bank exams and placement preparation. Today we are going to deal with the topic average. So how do you arrive at an average? It's pretty simple. An average is basically sum of given items by total number of items. So what does that mean? Let's take an example. We are given 5 items here, 80, 75, 55, 92, 108. These could be your marks, price of an item, run scored by a cricketer, uh, score of a, some player in a tournament, so whatever be it. Now the question is how do we arrive at the average of all these 5 items? The step is simple. The first step is sum of given items. How do you arrive at that? We just need to do 80 plus 75 plus 55 plus 92 plus 108. And what is that? This is equal to 410. And how many items do we have here? We know that it is 5. So we just need to do average is equal to 410 by 5 and this is equal to 82. Is there any doubt here? I think it's a fairly straightforward steps. Now here what are the other kind of problems that you will come across? Now let's take another example where the numbers are given as shown here. Let's say, let me put it as, okay, 92x, 55, 77, and 25. Now, in this question, you see that one of the components, they have not given the value. And what they have given? They are telling that the average of these numbers is equal to 60. Now they are asking us to find out what is the value of x. So let's try to find out x. Again, the step is same. Now we know that average is equal to sum by number of items. And what is average here? 60 is equal to, and what is the sum? Sum is nothing but 92 plus x plus 55 plus 77 plus 25. I will not do the complete step here. It's basically 249 plus x divided by 5. And you just need to do the cross multiplication. 16 to 5 is equal to 300 minus 249 which gives you 51. Isn't it easy? Now I'm going to teach you another method to solve the same problem and what do we call this? We call this deviation method and how do we do that? Now for these numbers let's Assume that average for these numbers is we have 80, 75, 55, 92, 108. Let's take a number which is very comfortable and assume that that is the average. Let's say uh, I will take 80 as the average. Okay, I am assuming that 80 is the average of this number. And in that case, how do you start the calculation? All that we have to do is we need to find out how far each of these numbers are from the average that you have assumed and in our case it is 80 80 minus 80 is 0 75 75 minus 80 it is minus 5 55 minus 80 how much is that 25 minus 25 and 92 minus 80 it is ahead by 12 and 108 minus 80 and it is 28. Fair enough. 
So the logic says that the value of all these deviations should be equal to zero. This is key. Now let's add it up. What do we get? Zero minus five minus five minus five minus twenty five. You get minus thirty. Then you have twelve plus twenty eight plus forty. How much are we away? We are away by minus 10. So we know that from the overall value we are away by minus 10 and what else? How many numbers do we have? We have 5 numbers. So we are away by minus 10 by 5 which means it is minus 2. So all that you have to apply now is that the actual value is away by 2 and hence we just need to add this 80 plus 2 to get the average and how much is that it's 82 you get the same answer that you had calculated earlier any doubts here if you have any doubts, please uh, send us an email or you can write a comment under this video itself. You can send an email to info at yourfaculty.com. We will be able to respond to you within a day's time. Now, let me now move on to the next question. There are seven numbers and average of first three numbers is equal to 33 and last three numbers is equal to 39. An average of all seven numbers is equal to 35. Now let me write the numbers as below. N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, N6, N7. What are we given here? The average of first three numbers is equal to 33 and that of last three numbers is equal to 39. So, what do, we, what do we get here? We know that we need to find out the fourth number. Okay. So, let's try to apply our deviation technique here. Okay. So, I will write 35 here which is basically the average of all these numbers and let's try to find out the deviation. So how much are we deviating? 33, how much is it away from 35? Minus 2. And what about 39? Plus 4. Is it very clear? 39 minus 35, 4. 33 minus 35, minus 2. The most important thing which you should not forget here is how many numbers are there for this particular series? There are 3 numbers. So we need to put this into 3. And here, similarly, into 3. So you have minus 6 and plus 12. The answer is right in front of your eyes. How much are we away? If you look at it, we know that the deviation value should be equal to 0. And how much are we away here? We are away by minus 6. So what does this mean? The the central number, the N4, is away from 35 by 6. And so, the value of N4 is equal to 35 minus 6 is equal to 29. I'll explain this again. You see here that the deviation, the value we are deviating from on the left hand side is minus 6 and on the right hand side is by 12. So the, 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 there is one number that is missing that needs to compensate for this deviation which is how much? The value is minus 6. Only then the deviation will be equal to 0. In order to find that, it is very simple. We need to just subtract the average value by minus 6 and 
the value you get as 29 so n4 is equal to 29 now we are going to an important topic of arithmetic series let's let's uh, take an take quick examples here what is the average of sorry 1 3 5 7 and 9 how do you find the average of this number it's pretty straightforward if the numbers are in a series and in a progression all that there's a there's a common difference right 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 that's why it's called progression and it's called arithmetic series so in this case the average is pretty straightforward it's the central number that's 5 you can sum it up and see 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 7 25 25 by 5 is 5 so the average is 5 now let's take another example 1 2 3 4 5 what is the average of this number again there are five numbers take the central number that's the average next question 2 4 6 8 10 How, what is the average of this number it's straightforward again it's 6 yeah it's 6 so that's the middle number and uh, that's the average so what is the shortcut shortest form I mean shortcut for doing this now let's assume that you are given a question where you need to find out the average of first hundred numbers one two three till hundred the the easiest formula to do this is average is equal to first number plus last number by and how do you arrive at that here let's take the same thing what's the first number one and what's the last number hundred by two and the value that you get is one out one by two which is equal to 50.5 you can check this you can apply this for all the other uh, series you can say let's say uh, let me take another example you need to find out the average of two digit number all the two digit numbers 10 11 12 till 99 and what's the technique for that they are in series all that we have to do is 99 plus 10 by 2 and that gives you the answer isn't that simple so if you know that the particular number particular question the average question involves a series all that you have to do is take the first number, sum it up with the last number and divide by 2.